Hey, Father Todd. Christian, hey, how are you? I'm, I'm well. Can you hear me over there? It's it's a little, there's a little echo over here. It's well, the good thing is, is that, you know, we, we, we have a healthy distance. We do. I feel distant from you and close to you, both at the same time. It's amazing. That, I think that's the Christian life. It is. Sometimes. During this time. During this time. It well, is. this is the T3T, so Father Todd and Father Christian are here to bring you the top three things you need to know this week. So I think the number one thing that we need to talk about is you have some important words for the congregation, don't you? There has been a lot that's been going on. And uh, and so we, thanks to uh, Christian, created a video and so put some, put some words to that as well as a letter that numbers of you will have already received. And so, uh, so we really want to be able to make sure that we get out the word about kind of where we're going. You know, what's the plan? What lay ahead of us? So my letter, uh, the video that's out there, and, uh, and the document uh, on being faithful from the bishop is available on the website. It's a 32-page document, but if you're interested in kind of where the bishop's thoughts were, um, then you can, uh, you can look at all of those things. It's important for us to be able to know where we're going and what we're doing, and so that's what we're trying to help people to do. So you have some homework for our first thing. So to go on our website and to watch the video of Father Todd uh, talking about where we're going, uh, read his letter, that'll be coming in the mail, and that's also available on our website. Uh, and then uh, finally, to, if you like, to, you're invited to read the bishop's 32-page uh, document. On, called I'm Being Faithful. So that's number one. Now, the number two thing, there's a lot of beautiful ministries that have sprouted out. You know, God is always up to something, even when it looks crazy and chaotic. There's always opportunities for the Spirit to do what the Spirit does. So uh, let's talk about one of those things. Uh, so Darcy Weir um, has, uh, through the season of Easter, has been willing to offer her uh, expertise in both the area of classic art as well as uh, spiritual formation, spiritual direction. And so she's put together this series that she went that it went through the season of Easter uh, and so we called it the Easter season but the Easter series but um, now we're coming to the end of the Easter series and the question was so Darcy is this gonna stop and so she said no she said she wants to continue to move on uh, to go out into uh, closer into the summer and so so I'm really grateful so now there's gonna be a Pentecost presentation and then maybe one for Trinity Sunday, Trinity Sunday. and then uh, and then out beyond that so I'm really grateful uh, for Darcy and her willingness to do that and and we'll see the different kinds of things uh, that God that God raises up during this uh, uh, during this strange time in our life together so well speaking of another one this is for our third and the third thing you need to know this week uh, God has really sprouted up um, a, a season of, of giving generosity as we know uh, a lot of people got hit really hard just right here in Martin County whether it's from health reasons but also economic right a lot of people lost their work so places like House of Hope saw a huge increase in the need for their food pantry. Uh, so St. Marion's, you have responded, and it looks like I just talked to Lon King, uh, who has been helping lead a food drive along with Jerry Governor uh, here on campus that we're approaching 500 pounds. So by the time you see this video, we have reached 500 pounds. House of Hope will come and take that food. So thank you very much, and thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Lon, for leading that, and it's just been awesome to partner with House of Hope. But there's other opportunities for us to continue to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ uh, during this time. Uh, so on our website, we, we, got a, we got a button right there that if you want to volunteer, that you can see all the different partner organizations to jump into right now. Absolutely. So we, we specifically selected House of Hope for this short-term project so that we could do something to be able to support folks who have been really hard hit in our area. And so that's coming to an end right now, but there are other organizations that are out there that we care a lot about. We really want to continue to support them, uh, both to support them financially and to support them with volunteer effort. They, they thrive, just like we do, on the goodwill and the support of the community to keep them going. And so uh, if you go to our website, you can find, uh, find, the, find out the information and the kinds of volunteers that they need, and you can do that. And I, and I hope that you're adding them to your prayer list because those yeah, volunteers yeah. are working hard in order to meet the need, and the needs are, have been great. And, and, you know, frankly, I have to say that in terms of the needs of the community, we're going to continue to see that um, writ large as we move forward. So please continue to support these organizations. They're important uh, sisters for us in this community. Those are the top three things and more here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church. He's Father Todd. I'm Father Christian. We're six feet apart. God bless you.